Welcome to the second part of our Picafeta series. This is a narration of the first voyage around the world or Picafeta's account of Magellan's voyage, specifically in the Philippines. Friday the 22nd of March The above-mentioned people who had promised us to return came about midday with two boats laden with the said fruit kuchi, sweet oranges, a vessel of palm wine, and a cock to give us to understand that they had poultry in their country so that we bought all that they brought. The lord of these people was old and had his face tattooed and had gold rings suspended to his ears which they named Shone and the others had many bracelets and rings of gold on their arms with a wrapper of linen round their head. We remained at this place eight days. The captain went there every day to see his sick men whom he had placed on this island to refresh them. And he gave them himself every day the water of this said fruit tococho, which comforted them much. Near this isle is another where there are kind of people who wear holes in their ears so large that they can pass their arms through them. These people are capre, that is to say, Gentiles, and they go naked except that round their middles they wear cloth made of the bark of trees. But there are some of the more remarkable of them who wear cotton stuff, and at the end of it, there is some work of silk done with a needle. These people are tawny, fat, and painted, and they anoint themselves with the oil of cocoa and sesame to preserve them from the sun and the wind. Their hair is very black and long, reaching to the waist, and they carry small daggers and knives, ornamented with gold, and many other things such as darts, harpoons, and nets to fish, like Rizali, and their boats are like ours. The Monday of Passion Week, the 25th of March, and Feast of Our Lady, in the afternoon and being ready to depart from this place, I went to the side of our ship to fish, and putting my feet on a spar to go down to the storeroom, my feet slipped, because it had rained, and I fell into the sea without anyone seeing me, and being near, Drowning by luck, I found at my left hand the sheet of a large sail which was in the sea. I caught hold of it and began to cry out till they came to help and pick me up with a boat. I was assisted not by my merits but by the mercy and grace of the fountain of pity. That same day, we took the course between the west and southwest and passed amidst four small islands, that is to say, Sinalo, Hiel Nanghar, Ibuson, and Abarien. Thursday, the 28th of March. Having seen the night before fire upon an island, at the morning we came to anchor at this island, where we saw a small boat which they call Boloto with eight men inside, which approached the ship of the captain general. Then a slave of the captains, who was from Sumatra, otherwise named Traprobana, spoke from afar to these people who understood his talk, and came near to the side of the ship. But they withdrew immediately, and would not enter the ship from fear of us. So the captain, seeing that they would not trust to us, showed them a red cap and other things which he had tied and placed on a little plank. And the people in the boat took them immediately and joyously and then returned to advise their king. Two hours afterwards or thereabouts, we saw come two long boats, 
which they call Balangay, full of men. In the largest of them was their king sitting under an awning of mats. When they were near the ship of the captain general, the said slave spoke to the king who understood him well. Because in these countries, the kings know more languages than the common people. Then the king ordered some of his people to go to the captain's ship. Whilst he would not move from his boat, which was near enough to us. This was done. And when his people returned to the boat, he went away at once. The captain gave good entertainment to the men who came to his ship and gave them all sorts of things, on which account the king wished to give the captain a rather large bar of solid gold and a chest full of ginger. However, the captain thanked him very much but would not accept the present. After that, when it was late, we went with the ships near to the houses and abode of the king. Sa mga pagari ko, madakal na salamat, sera kayo. Maraming salamat po, madamo, gin nga salamat. Daghang salamat, agyamanak. Shukran, rak, gin nga salamat. Thank you so much for watching. Please wait for the next series. Meanwhile, please like and subscribe and comment to further enhance our knowledge. This narration is from the first voyage round the world by Antonio Pigafetta, translated by Lord Stanley of Alderley, Pigafetta's account of Magellan's voyage. <laughs>